It's time to set up the month of July in our bullet journals and I can't believe half a year has passed. It feels like the year hasn't even started, but at the same time, like 30 years have passed these past six months. But for July's theme, I chose like a bumblebee and honey theme. I've seen a lot of people do th like this theme. So I've gotten inspiration from a lot of places but I'm going to put my own spin on it. So I'm mainly going to use these two yellows. It's the Tombow Dual Brush Pen in 090, which is a really, really pale yellow, and then the Koi Coloring Brush Pen in yellow, number three. So I'm going to start with this one and just write out July and also well, I'll see how I'll do with this one, but I'm going to start with writing out July. And the details and outlining of stuff I'm going to be doing with a fine tip marker. This one is in the size F, which I believe stands for fine. And first off, I'm going to write out this little monthly calendar and outline like the font and the little bees. For these little honeycomb details, I think I'm not going to outline them. I think it will be too much like black for me. So I'm just going to take the two yellow pens and alternate them a little bit in these, like sh in the shape of a honeycomb, if that makes sense. So on this page, I'm going to have my memories page, which if you haven't seen my bullet journal videos before, I have a mini printer that I print out pictures from my phone and then put them in here when the month is over. So I'm just going to write out memories with this little brush pen and do a little flower up at the top, maybe two or something. to leave the first spread at. I think it looks simple but still so summery with the yellow. So now let's move on to the monthly calendar. For this month I'm going to have my monthly calendar and my mood tracker with 31 little bees <laughs> at the same page. I think it will look really decorative and also really easy to see like oh I felt good that day I did this. So I'm going to try that out and also my little YouTube and Instagram tracker down here. Also for the first time I'm going to fill in the boxes for the days with color. I'm going to use the lighter yellow for that and not have the outlines. So I think it will look really pretty and yeah, as I said, it's the first time I'm not going to outline the boxes.
to leave the monthly calendar and I really like that I don't have the outlines of the boxes. I think it looks so soft and nice and it feels a little bit itchy in my... <laughs> I don't know why all these bees freak me out, but I think it will look a lot cuter and not so intimidating when I fill them in in different colors. Now I'm going to draw out my habit tracker and the first week of the month. For the habit tracker, I'm going to have these irregular honeycombs instead of the usual monthly just squares. So I think it will look so, so cute and cartoony. So I'm going to outline the honeycombs and then fill in every little shape with a number. And then of course, as every habit tracker, I'm just going to fill in the days that I do the specific thing. I'm really happy with the habit tracker looking like this. I think it would look so cute when I fill it in with the light yellow later. And now I'm going to do the weekly spreads and I'm going to have one week at each page. And here I also don't want a black frame. I want to have a yellow, light yellow frame instead just to make it more light and airy. And then I will have some bee doodles and honey doodles and stuff like that in the corners. I want the weekly spreads to look so I'm just going to do that to the rest of the weeks also and then I'll show you the final result. So this is what the weekly spreads ended up looking like. I don't know why yellow and bees and honey is so summery to me but I really like how it turned out. So here is the final flip through of my July bullet journal setup. And I do really hope you like it and that you find it as an inspiration because I sure found a lot of inspiration from other people doing this. I just tweaked it and made it my own and I really, really like how it turned out and how summery it is. Also, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!